to feel what it feels like for 10,000 people to be cheering for you or booing you. What, what is that feeling? What is that rush of adrenaline? What is it like to lay on the mat while a WWE superstar jumps off the top rope and their entire body is hurtling through the air at your body? What does that experience feel like? I remember when we first started with the slow motion camera. You know, you would think that would be very bad for our business, you know, but it's, it's the angles that you decide to utilize. It's, it's the, ultimately the footage and the content that you choose to take because we don't want to give away the magic to anyone. The Rock says you take that truck and drive it right back down. No, you're wrong, Boulevard, and you check your candy. Wait a minute! It's no different than a great movie, a great opera, a great play. It's protagonist versus antagonist with conflict resolution. The only difference is that our conflicts are settled inside a 20 by 20 foot ring with some of the greatest live action that you can see in any form of media when you truly break it down. What changes and involves is our ability to reach more and more people on multiple platforms. Storylines can start on social media. They can continue on social media. We truly never go off the air. She's the SmackDown Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. It started because of a hashtag. Um, our fans started a hashtag on Twitter in response to a Divas tag match that lasted all of 30 seconds. And it was called Give Divas a Chance. And our fans were calling for more enhanced storylines, better character development, more athleticism in matches. And their voices were so loud it trended for three days worldwide. Uh, we had WWE Hall of Famer Lita come out and announce the rebranding of the Divas division to the women's division. She unveiled the new championship belt and announced that our women were now going to be called superstars, same as the men. And since that time, our women have been regularly main eventing pay-per-view programs and television programs. And just this past December, they competed for the first time ever for WWE in Abu Dhabi in the Middle East. It's important and necessary, and, uh, and there's still a lot of room to go.